Okay, now I have to uh, create the seismic load. So before I uh, create the static seismic loads, I have to do something. I have to convert the model weight and loads into masses. So for that, go into uh, into type structure structure type. And in this window you see that you can do that. So why am I doing that? Because actually, uh, basically the, the self weight and the loads like that are applied on the on the beam. On uh, So what I want is not to apply on element but apply on the nodes. So because uh, seismic load only take in account the, the nodes. So I use this function to convert uh, the the loads, like uh, the self-weight for example, into nodal type of load. So you have the choice to convert into X, Y, Z type of lo uh, nodal load, or you can simply neglect the Z to convert to X, Y. Uh, I because in some cases the Z is just neglectable, so I just do that. So uh, after I do that, go into loads and uh, I have here load to masses so I have to basically to do the same with uh, the other loads so the mass direction will be XY th that's good uh, load type for converting so I have to select everything and now I have to select the load case uh, to convert so uh, load case the dead load and live load with a scale factor of 0 0.25 okay so this all that is written uh, inside the code that uh, I'm using okay so as you see this small symbol it means that everything has been assigned uh, correctly so now let's assign the seismic loads add and let's start uh, by assigning the let's say EY EXP uh, for the code IBC uh, 2012. So the the side class is uh, E. No, sorry, this is C. Yes, side class is C, and for the factor one and 0 0.3, I will use one for the importance factor, uh, and then here in the approximate period. Uh, enter 1.2 and 0 and the response modification factor will be 8 and 8 and here finally for the direction is 1 and 0 because this is in x direction uh, eccentricity positive so I check here positive uh, so I just click and apply to add this load here so let's uh, do now e EXN so it's basically the same, I just have to change your negative to negative for the eccentricity and click on apply. Now uh, EYP, so EYP is, I have to inverse the coefficients here, 1.2 and 0 in direction and here as well uh, 0 in x direction and 1 in y direction and this is positive for eccentricity so I check positive and the final load EYN so same but negative eccentricity okay and I just created my uh, four seismic loads